Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. It's good to see you again, man. How are can you? you? Hear? Can you hear? Yes, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Excellent. So, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. So we miss you on, on Friday. So what happened? Uh, I, I was attending a problem, a family problem. Yeah. Understand. No worries. So let's see here. Have you completed um, all the tasks on the platform? Yes, I completed at, at the at, until uh, three sections. Yeah. Three sections, okay. Yeah. I mean, in my case, yes. I don't know. My classmates. Okay, well, we will see, right? So let's see. Let me see who else is here. So I can say, well, I'm talking to Edmundo. I can see Adam Iglesias. Good evening. Carlos Alberto. Good evening. Herbert. Good evening. And Santos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let's see here. Trying to share the screen. There you go. Excellent. Well, very good. So let's start right now. Officially, a good evening to everybody. Thank you very much for joining the class on time. I truly appreciate your punctuality and responsibility, of course, right? So we are going to start right now practicing here with the first activity for tonight which is this one, the one we can see here, all right? So we are going to go using here a review about used to. Used to, it's the, um, the topic that we were studying last Friday, right? So on, on the class, right? And uh, now remember that used to, let's see if you remember this one here. Let me, let me see, let me see. All right, everybody, what is the meaning of used to? Let's see if you remember it. What's the meaning? Solia. Exactly, solia, right? To talk about activities that were very frequent in the past, but you don't do anymore, right? So then we have this one right here. It says right here, when my friends and I were children, this sentence here, it's giving you the context in past, right? It says the time when you and your friends were children, right? We, and then we need to use this structure right here. And for that, we go here and say, for example, we used to, and what is the verb that we're going to use in this um, sentence? Mm -hmm. The verb, it's the one we have here in parentheses, right? It's going to be eat. Exactly. So it's going to be, we used to eat. And then that's the whole thing we have to do here, all right? So it says here, then uh, when my friends and I were children, we used to eat ice cream a lot. a lot. Exactly. So if you're wondering, where did we get the information from? The donde salió la respuesta? It's very simple. So we are using used to, right? And then the verb, it's here. And remember that it's gonna be exactly the same verse, so we are not going to change anything, all right? And uh, that's why we have to like, just use this structure right here. So let's see, for number two, who can help me to read number two right now? Mm -hmm. uh, stop chatting me at me every time you are not happy about what I have done. Mm -hmm. I will never, I will never use to do everything right if I don't feel any support. 
Ah, okay, excellent. So what happens in here, um, like this one, what happens in this case right here with this one? It says here, will. Will. Aha, uh -huh. so what is that, past, present, or future? Future. Future, so in that case, are we going to use used to with the ED or not? No, not use ED. It's just used to, so I will just, never. Uh -huh. Use Used to do. Used to do. Uh -huh. Everything, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. Everything, right, if I don't feel any support. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. What about number three? My little son, uh -huh. can you tell me? My little son used to. Mm -hmm. Used to have. Used to? Have. Mm -hmm. What does all right mean? What does all right mean? Teacher? For this one right here, you mean? This one. One second. This one. And the third sentence. What the sentence? Uh, number? Yes. It's, it's like, do you know what's the name in Spanish of the the food that babies eat? Only babies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. right. So yeah, it's more like uh, papilla, I guess it is. Yeah, yeah, yes. That one. All right. So, like that one, uh-huh. Yeah. So. My, my little son used to have a ride with me uh, for his breakfast. So uh -huh. I need to find a local store where they sell good quality milk. Uh -huh. Now, I have a question for you right here. What would be this one? Because that sentence doesn't look like if it is in past. My little uh -huh. son used, used uh -huh. to. Remember, there there is a, there are two ways to use used to, right? So the first one was in past. This one, uh, like this one right here, it's this one in present. It's is used is used to, to have used to having having. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Because yeah. this one right here, it's whenever it's in present, which it means is yo suelo o acostumbro a. It's yeah, yeah, be yeah, yeah. Uh, I got it. Thank and you. this one Thank is you. cuando yo solía. All right. Yeah. So, exactly. Thank you. All right. So then okay. this one is in past, as you can see, right? So mm -hmm. it says number four. It says, we have moved to the north and now we need to. To use to mm -hmm. survive, we used to survive in the self weather condition. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you go on this one right here. We need to. What would be survive. the correct answer? Just used to. I see. What do you think? I have a question for you. What is the verb for acostumbrarse? Mm. Do you remember it? Use. Mm -hmm. It's actually oh, this yeah. one. Get. 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 Used Use. Use to. Get mm -hmm. used to. Mm -hmm. All right. Survive. So, survive. Get used to survive. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. need to get used to survive, all right? Yeah. So that's actually how you, um, like this one, all right? So like that. Then it says here, number five, Walter space a lot when he worked at his previous job. He doesn't have much time for it. Ah, this is about simple past, completely about simple yeah, past. Complete, used to sleep. Uh -huh. Used to sleep, used to sleep. You used to sleep all right very good then you go for number six number six is talk about sandra it says sandra da, 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 in the highlight because she is a famous fashion model it used to bang uh -huh. used, 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 used to, to bang uh -huh. very used good bang. excellent so uh, then you go to the next one, the last one. What is it? I can't, I can't, I can't see. Oh, okay. 
Number seven, what is it? To use. No. To use. Um, help your cousin to la 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 sport to, to exercise a lot every day. Uh -huh. mm. Maybe to do, to do just to. I can see the the the, the I I can see the bear. The bear is do. It's this one. Does. All right, so that is going to be here, like the same as number four, because we're talking about like ayudarle a tu primo a acostumbrarse al deporte. To get, to get just, just to do. Uh -huh. to, to get, get used just to, to do. do sport, all right? Exactly, 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 exactly. All right. So, and since that's the review we're going to have right here, remember. So, this this is structure we have right here, which is used to, and then the verb in, in base form, is to talk about the past, just solía, right? Then, when we have this one right here, is used to, más el verbo con ing, ese es yo suelo o el sujeto que sea suele, right? Mm -hmm. And then, this is structure we have right here, que sería get, used to, Luego el verbo en forma base es el verbo acostumbrarse a, luego a otra acción. No hay acostumbrarse a correr, a dormir, etc. Right? So, do you have questions about this? No questions. No questions. All right, excellent. So, no problem. Let's just continue with this one right here. And let's just see what's the next activity here. Well, so today's topic, it's... Super interesting. It's nice, actually, right? It's not difficult, but you have to pay attention to do not get confused, all right? So we are going to talk about the countable and uncountable nouns, right? Hey, I need a volunteer who can help me to read this paragraph first. Who's my volunteer? Mm -hmm. A I countable noun. Okay, okay. Who was that one? El Mundo, no, o Enrique. Enrique. Enrique, okay, Enrique. Um, thank you, teacher. Uh, conto on the conto now. Mm -hmm. Liri, uh, Liri, hey. Mm -hmm. Conto now consists in the peop in people uh, place thing of either that can be custom. Counted. All right. Let's review. For Very example, good job. Very good example, job. Let's just. Example, but... Thank you very much. Let's just continue here and, and check some pronunciation, all right? So everybody here, repeat with me. Things. Repeat it. Things. Things. Very good. This one right here. Ideas. Ideas. There we go. This one right here. Counted. 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 Very good. And then this one, apple. Repeat it. Apple. 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 Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much for that one, right? So it says right here that uh, this is or it is about uh, things that you can basically count, right? Like people, places, things, ideas, cosas que se puedan contar. Basically, that's what it says, right? The countable nouns. Cosas que yo pueda decir, for example, una persona, dos, dos manzanas, tres libros, etc. Right? So that's basically what you guys are doing in this a example. Then this one right here, uncountable nouns. Who can help me to read the second one? Let's see. Volunteer? Me, me. Thank you. Go ahead. Uncountable noun are no individual object and cannot be counted. Mm -hmm. And then we have two examples: sugar and milk. All sugar, right. Sugar, milk, water, water, etc. Right. So, and this is the confusing part like between uh, our Salvadorian Spanish and uh, American English. Why? Because of the way that we ask for things um, when we, for example, order something at the store. Uh, for example, it's very common for Salvadorian people to ask for something in this way. Quiero una azúcar o quiero una leche, 
All right. So when it's supposed to be, or the correct way it's supposed to be, una libra de azúcar, una botella de leche, un cartón de leche, un litro de leche, etc. Right? That's actually the way it is supposed to be. Because we cannot say una azúcar, dos azúcar, tres azúcar, or una leche, dos leches, tres leches. So it's actually not possible, right? And then we go on this one right here. So now let's review some examples here so we can check this one. Okay, now let's understand how they work, okay? This is actually um, a chart that we can use to understand this better. So for example, it says right here, the countable nouns, it says, have singular and plural form. Right? Tienen las dos. Tienen singular y plural. So yo puedo perfectamente decir una manzana o dos manzanas, for example. Or the one we can have right here. A tree or two trees. Right? Un árbol, dos árboles. Tiene versión de plural y tiene versión de singular. All right. And then also it says here that can you use singular verb or a plural verb. All right? So basically the verb to be. All right, so the verb to be, depending on this one. So, for example, you say the book is old or the books are old, right? Because in this represents that is plural and this one represents that is singular right here. So, basically, los countable nouns pueden ser singulares o plurales, no problem. All right, so then we have the opposite. So, we have the uncountable nouns. With the uncountable nouns here, Right, it says have only one form, no plural. Right, so we cannot pluralize uh, the uncountable sounds. No se pueden pluralizar. All right, so we have we have here butter, for example. What's the meaning of butter? Mantequilla. 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 Okay, very good, excellent. So, and then can we say, for example, una mantequilla or dos mantequillas? So, according to the example we can see here, that is not possible, right? So, how can we actually count? Podríamos contar? Do you think that could be possible? Well, let me tell you that that, is, that can be possible, but only if we add another word. So, for example, here, what if we said here this one, a bar? What is a bar? Mm -hmm. What is a bar? Do you know it? This one. What is it? Barra. Una barra. Very good. A bar of butter. And then we have this one. Uh -huh. Now, yes. How would you translate this sentence into Spanish, for example? Una barra de margarina o de mantequilla. Yeah, exactly, right? So, very good, excellent. So, that is correct. Entonces, podemos contar las barras, all right? Mm -hmm. So, las barras de mantequilla o margarina, eh, pero no podríamos decir, we cannot say solamente una mantequilla o dos mantequillas, right? Tenemos que usar una medida, en este caso, una barra, all right? Is that clear? It's clear for me. Yes, great, excellent. So then we go on this one. Uh, when it comes to the verb to be, they always, always used a singular verb, right? So you are not going to use are, for example. If we want to talk about um, an uncountable noun, we are going to use all the time the verb to be is, is. right? Because it is singular. Mm -hmm. It's only about one thing. So, for example, um, how do you say el agua es buena? The water, the, 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 the water is good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you go like this one. All right. The water is good. The water is good. Dame agua, hija. Por favor. All right. So you go on this one. Lado de agua, right? So <laughs> let's see this one. All right, and we go on here and said, like, for example, water, podemos contar el agua? No possible. All right, so it would be, for example, el agua es buena. So the water is good. Now, 
¿De qué forma podríamos contar el agua? In what way can we actually count water? Uh -huh. Two glasses of water. Two glasses of water, for example. Very good. All right. And that would be like, for example, the vaso of the agua. In that way, we are actually using a way for us to be able to count those things, right? Of course. Then you continue with the next one right here. All right. So um, in this one, we cannot use a or an or a number. That is not possible, right? Because it is uncountable. Y como dice acá, no contable, right? So if that's the reason why we cannot use a or an para decir uno o unas o algún número para decir el plural de estas because they don't have plural. So the uncountable nouns are going to be uh, just the noun. That's it. So for example, rice, which is the one we have right here, es arroz. We cannot say un arroz, dos arroz. In, in the best of the cases, that would be a pound of rice, which is going to be, for example, una libra de arroz, if you want to say it. Excellent, right? A pound. So, as a key, like, any questions so far? A pound, correct. A All pound, right. Any right. questions so far? Mm -hmm. No question for me, teacher. Okay, what about the rest? You guys have questions? Hey, good evening, Magdalena. How are you? Uh-huh. Uh, oh my goodness all right so no worries no worries understand um let's just continue with this one and let's just go with the uncountable nouns or often so how do we use the uncountable nouns or what are exactly the uncountable nouns we can use them so we have many examples there on that slide right so we can use them for example uh, we're talking about abstract ideas, so something that you cannot touch, right? Um, you know, like love, freedom, education, etc., right? Or can you say, for example, dos educaciones, right? Yeah. That's not going to be possible. So you say education is important, for example, right? Um, then, uh, you know, made of smaller parts, you know, cosas que son hechas o formadas, the piezas muy pequeñas, right? Like, for example, sugar, rice, salt, sand, etc., right? Uh, some food as well, when you cut them into small pieces, like bread, like fish, cheese, chocolate, right? Uh, meat, bacon food, ham, etc., right? Liquids and gases. Me, I mean, basically, any type of liquid is going to be, like, uncomfortable, like water, milk, wine, Etc. Right. Some materials as well, like wood, glass, paper, etc. Right. And we have something that we need to pay attention to. He says, "Be careful with this one. Take a look at this one here, 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 here." So, what is it? It says here, "Uncountable" in English. Right. So things that we cannot say in Spanish. It might be countable but in english it's uncountable right so like for example repeat it with me furniture repeat it furniture furniture there you go what is furniture muebles los muebles exactly right so you go on this one for the ones who don't know i'm gonna write it here there you go muebles exactly all right, so then, eh, of course, as I was telling you before, in Spanish we can say los muebles, los muebles, if we want to say it like that. But in English, it will be just furniture. See, if you want to talk about, like, for example, un mueble o dos muebles o algunos muebles, you can talk about a piece of furniture. A piece of? Mm -hmm. A piece of furniture, for example, right? So I have two pieces of furniture in my house for example all right so advice lo mismo right eh, me dio un consejo it will be a piece of advice like that one un consejo a piece of advice right work mm -mm. all right so we cannot say this one because you're talking about like you know it's a good work for example news news it will be like always put it like that all right so it's not like singular and there's like some good news 
information, luggage, and money. With money, this is funny because sometimes people get confused on this one. For example, with the word money. Can you count it? Yes or no? Se puede contar o se puede contar, my friends? What do you think? Money? Money, the, the word? No. No? Why not? You, you, money is, is a general. But, mm -hmm. but you, you can say, I have uh, $10. Ah, you refer to the money, but uh, you can count. The, the, in this case, you can count. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Because in the, in the example you are telling us, Edmundo, we are talking about the currency. The currency. Is, exactly. Right. So, for example, in our country, El Salvador, we have three official currencies. What are those currencies? Bitcoin and dollars. Colon. Dollars Colon, and supposedly colones. Right? And colon. More. Yes. <laughs> the currency. Yeah. Exactly. Are three. Yeah, R3, officially R3. Yeah. Right, so, but in the usage, we only use dollars, basically. Use dollars. Uh -huh, exactly, right? So, and then uh, we just have uh, that those examples of uncomfortable nouns there. So, any questions so far about this uh, information I just explained? Mm -hmm. No question. No questions. All right. So you're very shy tonight. No problems, right? So, well, we are going to go with another activity to see if it is true that you don't have questions, of course, right? So let's see. Let's continue with this one. All right. What's the next activity here? Let's see here. All right. Excellent. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to help me to determine if the vocabulary we have here, it's countable, so we can write a C, or a uncountable, right? It says, Magdalena here, sorry, teacher, I'm sick, I will just listen to it. No problem, Magdalena, I completely understand, but thank you very much for the effort and being here. All right, so, well, let's see, for example, bananas, according to this example, it's countable, because you can say one bananas, two bananas, etc. right? So let's see, number, I need a volunteer who can help me those three right here, this three. Who's gonna be my volunteer? Mm -hmm. For lemonade, this Lemonade, uh, lemonade, uncountable. uncountable. It's biscuit. uncountable. Uh -huh. Yes, biscuit, countable. Countable, what is biscuits? Galletas. Very good, uh-huh. Meat. Meat. Uh, uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. Exactly. That is correct. All right. Excellent. So let's see. I need another volunteer here who can help me with the next three. Who's going to be that volunteer? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Any volunteer? Enrique, Adam, Carlos. Who is it? Oh, Ever. Hello, Ever. Good evening. Teacher, I'm very comfortable. Number five is countable, bottles. Okay, very good. Number six? Number six, no countable. Uncountable, very good. Uh -huh. And number seven? Oh, countable. <laughs> so it's like countable? Alguien que me apoye ahí? No worries. Uh, uncountable. Uncountable. Uh, uh-huh. Is it countable like that? Yes. No, no, it's uncountable, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver que dice público. All right. So let's see this one right here. You will see. You will see. You will see. No worries. All right. I have an option for you right here so we can actually decide it. All right. So I know someone already has the answer, right? Countable. Countable. All right, or uncountable. You will see. Countable, uncountable. All right, excellent. So let's see this one. Okay, all right, so let's continue. Oh, okay, very good. Let me see I here. I thought it. 
Oh, I couldn't do it here. No worries, Ben. I was just... There you go. Never mind. So it didn't work for me in the, on this device. All right. Well, I'll go straight with the answer right here. So yes, it is uncomfortable. I'll tell you why. Because it's bread. So just like I know in Spanish or in Salvadorian Spanish, we normally say un pan, dos panes, tres panes. Of course, right? <laughs> so, but in English, we don't actually go on this one. So we use a different one, which it means like a piece of bread. Como una pieza de pan o una porción de pan. All right? So, so we'll be like this one. Piece of bread. If you want to say that one. Pero solo un bread, people will not get it. All right? No entenderían. So then, plate. What is plate, people? Lámina. Plato o es también placa. Ah, that is correct. Like, like for example, the carro. Very good. Uh, and then, you go on this one right here and it says countable or uncountable. What do you think? Uncountable. Uncountable, right? So there you go on this one. You cannot count it. Very good. Butter. It's example of almost a verb. Butter. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. All right. Soup. Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. Excellent. Coffee. Uncountable. Uncountable or countable? Uncountable. No contable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. All right. Ooh, what happens? <gasps> Sorry. All right. Oh my God, this thing went crazy. What happens? All right. So what? Never mind. Okay, here we go again. Sweets. Sweets. What are sweets? Dulces. Uncountable. Yes, like candies. So countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Are you sure? Countable. Yay. Then you go on this one with creeps. Countable or uncountable? Hmm? Fisher. What do you think? Uh -huh. I think the sweets are, is uncountable because you, see, you can say dulces, pero dulces, countable, are candies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then what is, is it? it? Uh, well, sweet the taste. Mm -hmm. It's different to the taste. taste. Well, you, you know what? I, I understand your point, Edmundo. So, however, in this case, sweets is exactly the same as candies. Ah, uh, really? Yes, it's another way to say it. This is in British English. In British English, they call them sweets. All right, American uh, English, they call it candies. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. All right, but, uh, but of course. But in this case, <laughs> uh -huh. maybe it could be uh, countable. Correct. But in oh. the, for example, if you're talking about like the flavor, sweet, that of course is uncountable. Uncountable, yeah. Exactly, right? So what about uh, the word crips? Countable. Uh -huh. What is crips? Oh. Chispas or exactly. crispies. So that's countable, right? Yes, countable. Yeah. All right, exactly. Son como las papitas, all right? There you go. Exactly, right? T, T, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. It's uncountable. It's a liquid, right? So all the liquids uncountable. are uncountable. Yeah, thank you for that one, Floor. It's uncountable, right? What about water? Uncountable. 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 Very good. Grapes? Countable. 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 Very good. Uh huh. Yogurt? Uh -huh. Uncountable. All right. Yeah, that is uncountable, of course. I said, like, very good. We almost finished on this one right here. Sandwich. Sandwich is countable or uncountable? Countable. Mm -hmm. It's a countable noun. Exactly, right? What about cheese? Uncountable. 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 If we want to count cheese, how do we do it? 
I'm going to bowl two. Mm -hmm. With pounds, exactly. Cream, I'm going to bowl two. Oh, Very good. Egg. Contable. Contable. Yay, contable. Very good. Sauce. Oh, Sauce. Sauce. Mm -hmm. Sauce, it's just like um oh, uh, contable. Contable. It's a liquid. Uh -huh. Chocolate. Oh, uncountable. Very good. Uncountable. Uncountable, okay. And then we go potatoes. Countable. Countable. All right, very good. Cakes. Countable. 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 And the last one, apples, which is Countable. 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 All right, very good. Excellent, excellent. So we got this one right here. Oh so, God. do you have questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, or anything else? There or one. Questions, questions? No, no question. Me. For me, no question. For no me, questions for you. Anybody else? Not question. No questions. All right. Excellent. So, well, Everybody, thank you very much for participating on this activity. Now, let's just continue with this one now. Yes, we are on this, one, which is the correct one right there. All right, adverse of quantity. All right, so with the adverse of quantity. So this is vocabulary that we are going to use to talk about like, you know, to, to, to refer to how much of something you want, all right? And we have those things right there, so like, this image already has the meaning in Spanish, so I'm not going to ask for it. But let's review here um, the, um, the pronunciation, of course, in English, right? The first one right here, my friends, which is going to be this one. Please repeat it here. More. Repeat it. More. More. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. L. Nielsen. All right. Then the opposite. Less. 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 Right. So, how do you say, for example, Less. Yo quiero más soda? Less. I want, I want more soda. I want, I want more, more soda. So I want more soda. Very good. How do you say, yo quiero menos café? I want less coffee. Want less coffee. All right. Excellent. Less coffee. Again, algo que nadie nunca dijo. All right. So, I let's see. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's just go to the next one. <laughs> a little. Oh my God. All right. So, a little. What is a little? Poco. Exactly. And that is something that sometimes you can say you have a little money. All right. So, I don't have too much money, etc. And then we have the opposite a lot. Repeat it a lot. A lot. Much. That's a very common, right? So, like, especially when you're talking to your um, you other significant, you significant other, all right? So, which is like, I love you a lot, for example. All right. So then you go with the next one there. This one, my friends, this one, the pronunciation of this one right here, it's not like this one. So it is pronounced as if you are having a letter F. Enough. A letter F, as he, like this one. Enough. So it's going to be like E. Right? Enough. Enough. Like that. Enough. Enough. Repeat it. Enough. 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 Exactly. That Enough. is the correct pronunciation of this one. All right? And what is that one? Suficiente. Suficiente. How do you say? No es suficiente. Quite. Uh -huh. It's not quite. It, no, it is, no es it's suficiente. Not enough. It's, it's not, not enough. Exactly, it's not, it's enough. not enough. All right, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. All right, excellent. So, how do you say, for example, bastante? Mm -hmm. Quite. Quite, all right. So, how do you say, for example, ella es bastante buena? She's quite, she's quite, she's quite good. good. Very good. Quite. 
All right. Y está también el otro que usamos mucho, mucho, muy seguido, which is very, like the most common one, right? You can say very, right? Very. So, very, very, all right? So, like, very good. Then, the next one, which is going to be too much. Repeat it, too much. Too much. There you go. Yes, Excellent. Too much, too much, which is, you know, this one is demasiado, but sometimes it is used in a negative yeah. way. A negative way, sorry. Yeah. Right? So it's like, it's too much. It's too, too much. like that one, all right? Or a veces se utiliza nada más this one. Two. Two. All right, two, and then the adjective. For example, um, you could say like, oh, she is too tall, right? It's demasiado alta, right? If you want to say, you are describing, but you are saying that uh, in a negative way, right? So that's basically what happens right there. So questions? No question for me. All right, teacher. hardly. The next one, everybody, hardly. Repeat it. Hardly. Hardly. You go like hardly. Hardly. Exactly. Hardly. Then basically you pronounce heart and then you add lee, right? So hardly. Hardly. Exactly, right? So which is, you know, sometimes this is a very common um, adverb of quantity. For example, when you are on a phone call or on a video call like this one, and you cannot listen to the other person, right? So you can say like, I can hardly hear you, for example, all right? Or oh, I can barely, which is another one. All right, so then everybody, almost. Repeat it, almost. Almost. Very good. How do you say, for example, casi choco? How do you say that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Almost get choco. Uh -huh. I almost crash, for example. Crash, crash. Crash, crash, crash. crash. All right, so, or if almost. you want to say a different way, casi me muero, right? So you say, like, I almost die. Almost die. Mm hmm Exactly, right? And gosh, then gosh, uh, gosh, we gosh. have like the next one, which is like nothing. Repeat it. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Nothing. And then the opposite, something. Repeat it. Something. Something. Very good. Nothing and something there. Super good. All right. Now, what is the next one? All right. So the next one right there, it will be uh, this one. Okay. Questions about the vocabulary, my friends? Mm, no question. No questions. La pronunciación de apenas, teacher. Apenas, hardly, hardly. Can you repeat it? Hardly. Hardly. Very good. Excellent. So hardly. now, everybody, before I move to the next activity, let me check attendance. Okay. So the first one, Adán Iglesias. Present teacher. Thank you, Mister. All right. So, Ellen Nilsson, ya me dijo que present. Carlos Alberto Santos. Yes, ahí está. All right. So, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Yes. All right. David Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, my friend. All right. Edith Presa. I am here, teacher. Hello, Edith. Good evening. All right. So, Edmundo Antonio. Present, teacher. Enrique Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz. Present, teacher. Hello, Erika. All right. So, Ever Enrique. Ahí estamos. All right. Eh, Franklin de la O. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Herbert Aristides. Present yes. teacher. Thank you. Jose Benjamin. No. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Magdalena ya nos dijo que sí. Mónica Ivet. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Mauricio. <laughs> yes. All right. Saúl. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wilbur. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, my friends, for joining the class. Solo una persona me hizo falta, right? So 
como ya dijeron, present todos para la siguiente evaluación. Yeah, here present, Santos okay. Mauricio. No problem, Mauricio. Como ya dijeron, present todos para la siguiente eh, activity, volunteers. Ok. So let's see here. Please, um... <laughs> All right, so let's see. Teacher. Very good, excellent. Yes? Teacher. Um, I have two, two questions. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, more or less, eh, Majo, se podría pronunciar más o menos. Pero right. también algunos dicen so so. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia de ambas allí? The most common one is so so. Sí, a veces algunos así dicen. Uh -huh. So y so. Que, ajá, que dicen que también significa más o menos había. That's correct. Para que right. duda por ahí. También hay otro que sale que significa este kind of. Hay esos dos en el chat kind of que también significa más o menos, right? So, este, por ejemplo. Son válidas eh, las frases. Excuse me. Son válidas las frases entonces. So soy. All right. So yes, 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 yes. All okay. right. So like that one. You can say, for okay. example, si te preguntan, hey, how are you? And you can say kind of. Ahí está diciendo automáticamente es como que hay like, más o menos. Sí, no. so Which is oh. very common as well. All right. No problem. Thank you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You. Any other question? No questions? No, okay, nice. very good. And then we continue with the next one right here, which is this one. Um, okay, here we have an exercise, okay? An exercise here Most that we need to um, practice with. So here, my friends, you have the, end, the possible options right here. In every question from one to 10, you have here three options that we are going to be selecting to complete those blank spaces. Just one answer, all right? So you can see that. So for example, let me help you with number one. Number one says, there is a space, water on the floor. Will that be some, any, or much? What do you think? Uh, there is much, oh, some uh -huh. for me. All right, excellent. So. It depends on what you're saying, all right? So what would be like the, the, the correct answer here? Mm -hmm. Some or much? Much. Um. Some people say much, some people say some, all right? Which one is the correct answer here? There is one. Is one. No. Some. Some. Mm -hmm. some. We're going to keep some right here. Why? Because in, in the context of the sentence doesn't give us the idea that you're talking about an exaggerated amount of water. Right? Okay. All right. So, like, for example, if you talk about, like, in the ocean, there is much water on the pool or in whatever, in the aquarium, right? So, but yeah. in general, so we are not very specific, so we can have some. Then, number two. Number two, it says, who can help me to read it? Uh-huh. Who can help me to read it? Yes. Reading, reading, reading. There are many. There are many children. Yay, many. There are many. many children. It's plural. Very good. Excellent. There are many children. Watch how the next one. Mm -hmm. so. We don't use so. much. Aquí se va el much. Much, much, teacher. Excellent. Thank you very much. We don't use much electricity in our house. Because what expensive. A... Mm -hmm. Exactly, because it's expensive. And then we go like, well, actually, in real life, it's the same, right? So. Then, number four, it says, I only have uh -huh, a little sugar, a few sugar, any sugar. A little, a little sugar in my coffee. Uh -huh. A few, yeah, it's, a few is not possible because a few is for control. Sure. control. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, it has to be a little. A little. 
-hmm. A little sugar in my coffee. Very good. So then we have number five. For number five, we can say in the morning, I only have what? A few. A few, DJ. A, a few. few drops of milk in my coffee. Exactly. This is plural. Very good. So we can go and say this one. All right. A few. There you go. Excellent. So then for number six, there are mm -hmm, books on my bookshelf. So? What is the correct one? A lot of, a few, or much? There are a, a few. Mm -hmm. A few. Books. Oh, yeah, my books. There are much. <laughs> okay, okay. So, very good. But it's a bookshelf. So, it is supposed to have books or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, we have two possible answers. Right, so you can actually use a few or many. Oops, it's the next one. It's the next one. No, no, the next one. It's a lot of or a few. A few. This yes. one. A lot of or a few. All right. Depending on the context. So you can say that there are pocos libros, and you can use a few books. All right. But if you can say that there are many libros, I'm going to use a lot of. Love, love. Exactly. Entonces, ambas, ambas respuestas pueden ir aquí. All right. So, teacher. But, ajá. Uh -huh. There are ambas, a lot of, um, a few. No, lot, lot of. All right, right. So, cualquiera de las dos podría ser la respuesta correcta, pero todo For dependerá me, de... A lot of. Dependerá del contexto que yo le quiera dar. Right. So, si yo quiero decir, hay muchos libros, sería entonces... Lot of. Lot of, all right? So you can see it. Hay pocos yeah. libros. A few. A, a, a few. few. Exactly. Entonces, it's basically el context que yo le quiero dar. <coughs> La oración no me da para más. I mean, information. All right? Entonces, aquí puedo tener a double answer dependiendo del contexto que yo quiero, oh, right? Okay. Ahora, okay. si nos pasamos, for example, en la imagen que está aquí, yeah. right? Aquí sí serían a lot, ¿verdad? Yeah. Lot of. Exactly. Sí, aquí sería a lot of. Si nos pasamos en la imagen aquí. So there are a lot of books in my bookshelf. Right? Then, number seven. Number seven, number seven. So what is it? Some. Some. There isn't some space in my bedroom? Yes or no? Because some, it's para plural or not? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, there is no... Many. Many. No, much. Much. Much space. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Then we have the next one, which is going to be number eight. Right? So there's two. Much noise Yay. next door. Too much noise next door. All right? All right. Much, 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 much. All right. So, I do homework every day. Uh huh. Lot of. You know, for example, if you want to say, or oh, can I say a lot of homework, people? No, but but the work, the word in the same thing is homework. In the exactly. singular. And the homework is countable or uncountable. Countable. A. Uh, no. Homework is uncountable. Homework is uncountable. Entonces tengo ahí, I do a lot of homework or much homework? Much. Exactly, porque es incontable. That's the reason why. Right? Pero mira, a mí me dicen, me dejaron tareas. Entonces en ese caso... Se many, viene con... many, many homework. Pero igual, pero estamos hablando de eh, task. 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 Ahí sí está plural, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. And then the last one. So let's see what the last one is going to be. I can't go to school by bus because I haven't got. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I have got, I haven't got. Huh? I can go to school on my mom because I haven't got. Some money. Uh, are you sure? Money. <coughs> money. Some money or much money? Much and the, money. Other, and, and the other word, I said enough. I haven't got enough money. <laughs> well, that would be a, an option that can fit correctly with this one, but we don't have it as an option. So yeah. out of the three options we have right there, so how is it? Mm -hmm. Much, much money. But again, the money is uncountable. Exactly. All right. So it is much money. You got it correctly. So let's see here. Much, 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 much. Oops. There you go. There you go. Oops. Mrs. Spell. My bad. It says here, match. There you go, match. I can go to school by bus because I haven't got much money. That is correct. Great, excellent. So now, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about that? Mm -hmm. No question for me, teacher. Any questions, vocabulary, or anything? No? No, teacher. Okay, very good, very good, very good. So let's just continue then with the next activity, which is going to be this one. Let me know whenever you can see the, the next slide. Can you see it now? Yes. I Very good, it. excellent. Mister, let me see here. Ah, no, ah, no, a woman, a woman, a woman. Let's see. Edith Represa, hello. Uh -huh. Atrapamos. Erika y Jen. Mónica mm. Merino. Aha, uh -huh, girls, you escaped from the class. We discovered that now, huh? All right, let's see. Uh, Mr. Martinez, Saul Martinez, can you help me to read the instruction? This instruction. There are, there are a lot of police no, officers. Help, help me to read the instruction here in red, the instruction. Saul, oh, no. help me to read, please, read the instruction. Reading, 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 the instruction, read. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, what happened, Saul? Teacher, your teacher. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh, I completed this is testament about transportation problem. Okay. Then company mm -hmm. quick a partner. More quick. than one, more than one aspect may be possible. Thank you very much, Enrique. I appreciate it, right? So what's about reading that one now? Let's just repeat this pronunciation. Repeat it with me, Enrique. Statements. Repeat it. Yeah. Statements. Statement. Very good. Excellent. Then this one. Transportation. Transportation. Very good. And more than. Down. There you go. With app. Thank you, my friends, for helping me with this one. Now, let's see. We are going to review some volunteers here so we can use exactly the same words that we were studying before. Right? So, there are police officers in, our, in your city. In your city, in your city, all right? I am a Santos or no I have a police officers? Well, you are one of them, actually. Uh -huh. So what there do you are, think? There, there are, are many, many police officers. 
Exactly. There are many, or you can use also here, a lot. A lot. Of, a, 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 a lot. A lot, exactly. A lot of. A lot of. There you go. Police officers. Remember, como decía aquí la instruction, right? Uh, it can be more than one answer may be possible, right? So that's fine. Then you go on the next one. There should be in the city. Cars in the city. Uh huh. Talking about cars, what do you think? A lot of. A lot of cars, of course. A lot, right? lot, lot of. A lot of cars. A lot of, or you can say lots. Of lot, cars. lots of. All right, exactly. Very good. Number three, it says there is. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is seeing there is much public transportation. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's enough? Oh, enough. All right, very good. So we can go on this one. Enough transportation, public transportation. The government needs to build what? More. Highways. More. Very good. Excellent. More, more, more. Then number five, there should be much noise. Uh -huh. Much noise. Very good. Uncountable. Okay, the next one, it says right here, we should have, we should have what? Uh, uh, many or, or a lot of, a lot of public mm -hmm. parking garage, garages. Garages, right, but take a look at this one. Nosotros deberíamos tener parqueos públicos. ¿Qué sería entonces? Mm -hmm. It's countable. Mm -hmm. ah. Public parking garages. All right, so ¿qué sería? Much, many, a lot, more, enough. Hello. Oh, enough. Enough. All right, so yeah, in this one, I will go for more enough. or enough. Enough. Yeah. All right, so like that one. All right, so deberíamos tener más. Parqueos públicos o suficientes parqueos públicos, for example. All right, if you want to say like that one. Then, you go on this one right here with number seven. Number seven, what is it? Number seven. There is much. There is uh, too much. Too much. There is? Too much air pollution in the city. Exactly. Too much, right? All right. And the last one? There are many. Many. Yeah. Oh, a lot, a lot of. Many. Many or a lot of. Very good. Excellent. So, guys, this topic for you was a piece of cake. Do you have questions so far? No question, teacher. No, no questions? Question. All right. Excellent. So, well, if that's the case, we are going to uh, stop the share right here. So, we're going to finish the class right now. Thank you very much for joining. Right, gracias a todos por haberse conectado. Los espero tomorrow, my friends. Recuerden, si you have alguna pregunta en el grupo, con mucho gusto les ayudo. If you have any questions, you can ask for it in the group. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good see night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Take see care. You tomorrow. Thank you. Good Bye -bye. night. Jetty.